ask you something? Look, honestly, it's just you and me here. No one else has to know. I want your insight, all right? I feel like we've gotten to know each other pretty well throughout the years. I've been on YouTube for what, four years now? Four years and some change? I don't know, past couple years, kind of been a whirlwind, am I right? But I, I, I trust you. I value your opinion, I value your perspective, not only as a viewer, but as a friend. Ugh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I guess, there's certain things that you're you're prepared to talk about, and there's but but you're not necessarily prepared to talk about on camera. You know what I mean? I don't know. It, it's I guess this weird duality that content creators have to come to terms with. But um, okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ask. What the f is wrong with Zenith's design team? No, I'm serious. What the f is wrong with Zenith's design team. They went from making really elegant things like the Zenith Power Reserve, and even really unique things like the Zenith Defy 21, look at that, to just looking at other watchmakers and seeing what they're doing and then just doing, just doing that. Lazy. It is 5.32 p.m. Let's get down to business. By the way, I still have that boo-boo and I got some, some ointment. How many times can I say ointment on this channel without people getting angry? <laughs> now, if you're a fan of wristwatches and you don't take anything too seriously, please consider subscribing because we are the laughing stock of Orology and uh, I want you to laugh with us or laugh at us. Doesn't really matter, just subscribe. Please leave the description. <laughs> And then, while you're at it, please go ahead, find the like button, should be around here, and uh, wait till it sleeps, then tickle it. Just tickle it right on its nose, or I don't know, around its eyelashes or something, with a, with, with a little feather. But instead of a feather, use a leaf of poison ivy. <laughs> okay, so in a few recent episodes, I've complained about the fact that uh, there's been a lot of integrated bracelet, angular bezel, luxury sports watches, and I don't want to see them anymore. So what did Zenith do? Uh, they made uh, an integrated bracelet sports watch with an angular bezel. <laughs> wow. It's almost like they were listening to me, and then they just they just did it on purpose. It's a, it's, wow. But here's where it gets good. Okay, it's not just an integrated bracelet and an angular bezel. Uh, it's also an integrated bracelet with an angular bezel and a blue checkered dial. So it's like they're literally making an AP Royal Oak. <laughs> Listen, it's sharp, okay? And I'm sure the finishing is going to be impeccable. I'm sure it feels great on the wrist. And I'm sure some of the wise guys in the comment section are gonna be like, um, <laughs> Well, actually, what you don't know is that this is an homage to the OG Zenith Defy. Uh, no. Let's take a look at a Zenith Defy from, like, circa 1970. Put that next to this new Zenith Defy Skyline. And then let's wrap it up by putting it right next to an AP Royal Oak. Yeah, which one does this look more like? I'll give you a hint. The Royal Oak. And this isn't the first time that Zenith has done something like this. Like clearly biting off the design cues from another luxury watchmaker not long ago. Probably like, what, six months ago with the Zenith El Primero Chronomaster Sport? Does that look familiar? Well, it should, because you're on scare tactic. No, uh, because it looks exactly like a Daytona. And before people comment, those same wise guys from earlier, uh, that Zenith actually uh, made the original movements for the original Daytona, you're wrong. You're wrong. And I've gotten a bunch of you guys telling me this, and that's not true, Valjou did. So uh, if you're going to correct me, at least be correct yourself. Valjou made the original movements for the original Daytonas. Last time I checked, you never saw Valjou biting off this design simply because they made movements for a watchmaker. Also, just because one watchmaker made movements for another watchmaker, it doesn't mean that that watchmaker then has rights to that other watchmaker's designs. That might have been confusing, so let me just put it to you this way. Just because Tag Heuer used Seiko movements doesn't mean that Tag Heuer can just take a tuna and slap Tag Heuer on the dial. Although that, that honestly wouldn't surprise me in 2022. And yes, for those wondering, uh, Tag Heuer literally used Seiko movements and then lied to the media and said that it was an in-house movement, which it wasn't because people took the case backs off and they found out it was a minimally uh, modified Seiko movement. So, weird. So guys, Zenith's 
very well may have produced a decent watch here. But the only reason it looks cool is because it looks exactly like an AP Royal Oak. And if anyone, any other watch media site, any other watch collector, anyone tells you otherwise, without bringing up the fact that it is a blatant ripoff of a Royal Oak, they're lying to you uh, and they're lying to themselves. Stop being lazy, Zenith. You have the ability to make incredible watches. You don't need to bite off designs from other people. <sighs> Bummer. So there you have it guys, please comment. Let me know what you think about all of this and uh, when you saw this watch, did you not seriously think AP like immediately? I don't think it's just me, but let me know. This is, I think it's just boring. This was a boring design, a boring release, confounding decision by their design team. And guys, again, if you don't take anything that seriously and you just kind of want to have fun with watches, go ahead and subscribe because we would love to see you hang out with us, the bad boys of the watch world and uh, then go ahead uh, find that like button again it's probably down here somewhere and then uh, wait till it's asleep go ahead and tickle it with a feather it's just you know it's a little prank but instead of a feather use a leaf of poison ivy that'll show it all right guys i will catch you on the next one subscribe to my other channel t3 time to drive if you like cars go check out my personal website thetimetellershop.com uh, it's the number one place to find affordable vintage luxury watches all hand picked by me and uh, yeah, stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman of The Time Teller, and always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. <laughs>